coasters but I do love a Thursday thrill ride and that's exactly what we're about to get into here. There will be twists and turns, highs and lows, adrenaline, excitement and even boom, fear. But only because Halloween is right around the corner and it's literally my favorite holiday. Speaking of which, we will be doing an extra special Halloween themed game next Friday the 29th so definitely don't miss that. Also there's all kinds of Fun photo and video challenges happening on display right now, so check those out. And tune into our pre-show tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, right before trivia tomorrow, to find out how, how to participate, right? Because that's what we're here for. We're here to participate. Plus, I'm giving away one of the trivia answers. So there's all kinds of ways to maybe make a little extra cash. Speaking of cash, we've got $1,000 at the end of the roller coaster tonight, and there's no height requirement to ride, I mean play. Just 10 questions to answer and 10 seconds for each. But beware, because once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, you can keep playing along for fun, just no cash prize for you. Also, no cash prize for you if you win but don't have a completed display profile. I'm talking bio, profile pics, and posting people, okay? All right, it is time for display trivia. Question one. A ballerina might typically sport all of the following except a bun, a tutu, a machete. A ballerina might typically sport all of the following except a bun, a tutu, a machete. Your traditional ballerina starter kit may include most of these items along with everyone's favorite flattering look, a leotard and tights. Better yet, make that thing into a unitard and we can rock it out all darn day. I only need one piece of clothing on my entire body. Now that is something to dance about. Look, ballerinas are tough. They dance balanced on their toes for hours at a time. And I've seen Black Swan, okay? I know how they can be vicious, but a ballerina with a machete is probably not what's gonna be on stage at the New York City Ballet this season. TBH though, I would totally watch that show. Question two. Bagpipes are an instrument associated most closely with which nationality? Scottish, American, Italian. Bagpipes are an instrument associated most closely with which nas nationality? Scottish, American, Italian. Doesn't matter what nationality they're associated with. When I hear these, I automatically think one thing. Funerals. Nothing says, we're gonna miss you, like a giant plaid sack with horns and knobs coming off of it, spouting amazing grace. That'll make your guests cry, but maybe not for the reason you'd hope they would. Many cultures around the world have a version of this instrument. From India to Turkey, a lot of people thought blowing air into a bag you could hold on your hip was a good idea. But probably the most iconic version comes from the Scots. Question three. Incisors and canines are types of what human body part? Vertebrae, teeth, tendons. Incisors and canines are types of what human body part? Vertebrae, teeth, tendons. Do you know the names of all your body parts? Cause I don't. Every time I go to the doctor's office while I'm in the exam room waiting and looking at the posters on the wall, I'm like, oh, so that's what that's called. Ah, huh, huh, didn't know those things were connected. And buy a tube, wow, low key. Am I looking at an amusement park map or the esophagus? Either way, I am having the time of my life. Say, could you remove this skin tag? Funny enough, I have named my skin tags. Molars, incisors, and canines are all types of human teeth. Teeth, did you get it right? Now that's something that I can sink my teeth into. Question four. In the Star Wars films, Chewbacca is what type of creature? Wookiee, Ewok, Jawa. In the Star Wars films, Chewbacca is what type of creature? Wookiee, Ewok, Jawa. Not to yuck anyone's yum, but if you're into tall, hairy guys, Chewbacca might be the one for you. Han Solo who? More like Jabba the what? More like Luke Skywalker, cause that guy's all words and no action. 
C3PO? How about C3P? No. Look, I could do this all day or night. In space, it's not really either, right? Chewbacca is Han Solo's co-pilot on the Millennium Falcon, and he's known for his often imitated, never duplicated call. But like, when is he gonna text me back? You're right, he's busy hunting bounty around the galaxy. Yeah, I totally get it. Chewy, what I call him, is a Wookiee. <gasps> you know what? I'm not, I'm not even gonna try doing that. Yeah, question five. Which of the following is not an ancient Roman ruin? The Colosseum, the Pantheon, the Parthenon. Which of the following is not an ancient Roman ruin? The Colosseum, the Pantheon, the Parthenon. Okay, so when the Romans leave their used stuff all over Europe, it's culture. But when I do it, it's a mess. Make it make sense. Look, just because families don't plan their summers around coming to see my dirty dishes doesn't mean they're not important or even, a dare I say, historic. I ate oatmeal out of that bowl, I steel cut and everything, okay? Why are my dirty gym clothes any less impressive than a thousand-year-old aqueduct? Y'all are just haters. No, much like me, the Romans never really learned how to clean up after themselves, but don't let that ruin your evening. The only one on this list that was not actually left by the Greeks the only one on this list that was actually left by the Greeks and not the Romans is the Parthenon. Question six. Nirvana is a concept in all of the following religions except Buddhism, Shinto, Hinduism. Nirvana is a concept in all of the following religions except Buddhism, Shinto, Hinduism. Nirvana is also a concept in rock and roll history 101, but we'll save that topic for another time. Does anything smell like teen spirit to you guys? And never mind. Today, we're focusing on Nirvana as the idea of the soul reaching enlightenment. Dang, that sounds great. What do I sign up? I had some pretty banging avocado toast with bacon jam for lunch. Was that Nirvana? Because that experience, that was pretty enlightening. The two religions on this list that recognize the idea of nirvana both also believe in reincarnation, the cycle of death and rebirth until the soul reaches fulfillment. Now, I can't promise spiritual fulfillment, but if you know that Shinto is a Japanese, Japanese belief system native to ancient Japan that focuses more on the here and now, you might just fill out those pockets a bit more. Question seven. The movie Girl Boss was based on the memoir by the founder of what fashion brand? ASOS, Nasty Gal, Zara. The movie Girl Boss was based on the memoir by the founder of what fashion brand? ASOS, Nasty Gal, Zara. Look, she's a girl, she's a boss. She's a girl boss. Women can be anything. And we need to teach them that from a young age, from infancy. I say we need more girl boss babies. Who's gonna secure the bag? She is, the diaper bag. And who's gonna put a ring on it? Girl, you don't need a man, you got your own rings. Your teething rings. So why well, you can barely walk yet, I wanna see you climb that corporate ladder. Yes, girl. She's a boss in the boardroom and in the playroom. This movie was presented by Netflix and it was based on the memoir by Sophia Amoruso, founder of Girl Boss Media and Nasty Gal. Speaking of nasty, any girl boss babies need a diaper change? Question eight. Which of the following animals does not mate for life? Emperor penguin, Eurasian beaver, shingleback lizard. Which of the following animals does not mate for life? Emperor penguin, Eurasian beaver, shingleback lizard. You know the dating seat is bad when you'd rather focus on that of a completely different species, am I right? What are the gray wolves up to these days? I mean, I swiped right on one just last week, so fingers crossed, or paws crossed? Hmm. Either way, the alphas of gray wolf packs are generally known to be monogamous and are the only members of the pack who are allowed to mate. Damn, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. All of the animals on this list are monogamous, actually, meaning they only mate with one partner at a time. But as we know, seasons come, seasons go. Look, last mating season was great, but I'm looking for a change. It's not you, it's me. Emperor penguins work as a couple for a season, but once the chick has been fully reared, all bets are off and it's back to the dating pool. Dating, 
Ocean? Question nine. The abbreviation that indicates a period of day that falls before noon is short for a phrase in what language? Latin, French, Greek. The abbreviation that indicates a period of day that falls before noon is short for a phrase in what language? Latin, French, Greek. Now, if you're using a 24-hour system, sometimes known as military time, that is going to eliminate the need for these abbreviations, or these abbreves, as I like to call them when I'm abbreviating, obvi. And to be perfectly honest, that system is way less confusing. Oh, I got home around 2. 2 a.m. or 2 p.m.? Look, does it really matter? Uh, yeah. In one scenario, you're sneaking home early from work, and in the other, you left your wallet and keys on the subway, so yeah, it matters. But in a 24-hour system, 13 is always just one hour after noon, or rather, one hour after meridium, which loosely translates roughly to midday. The opposite of that, though, is AM, which is short for anti-meridium, or before midday, and that is a Latin phrase for you. Not quite a dead language, just in retirement. It is time for the final question. Q10. The largest bone in the human body connects to all of the following ligaments except lateral collateral, pubofemoral, anterior tibiofibular. The largest bone in the human body connects to all of the following ligaments except lateral collateral, pubofemoral, anterior, anterior tibiofibular. Whoo, my prefrontal cortex aches just trying to read and pronounce the answer options to this question. Sheesh, lateral collateral. That sounds like something they tell me I don't have enough of when I go to the bank. Anterior tibiofibular is the thing my dad reminded me to plug in in the garage before I left for my friend's house, but I totally forgot. None of these sound like a body part, but maybe I just should have paid better attention in anatomy class. I was paying attention to anatomy, it just happened to be the anatomy of the cute guy sitting next to me. The largest bone in the human body is the femur, or the thigh bone, and it connects the pelvis to the knee. The tibiofibular, that connects the ankle to the foot. And you just connected all of the questions to the right answers. Did anyone get lucky? Did you just get lucky? That's okay, be honest. It doesn't matter how you got here, you're here in the winner circle. Now don't forget that in order to claim those winnings, you need to have a fully complete display profile, okay? I wanna see your little avatar. I wanna see you posting. Speaking of posting, we've got some contests happening outside of trivia, some cool hashtags happening. So join me for the pre-show tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Eastern to hear all about them. Plus, score yourself a trivia answer. Yeah, just tap the TV icon to join us, just like you do for trivia. I hope to see you there with your cute little avatars. Now have a great rest of your night. Bye.